Hey, Doc. Shh. Don't panic or scream. Because if you do, I have to keep you quiet for a bit. And you definitely don't want that. Happy you agree. I also didn't want to have to hurt you. You're like really cute. And I would almost feel bad about it. Yes, I would be that Jack. Jack Lopez, rock star and vampire, but you can call me Jackalope. What's that look on your face for, Doc? Look like you're gonna pass out. Oh, come on. I did say I wasn't gonna hurt you. Let a guy have some wiggle room. I promise, I don't bite. Me. I can't tell you what I want just yet. You've gotta work your way up to that. Well, duh. That's how all good relationships work. And I know just how you can start. You've met Darren, right? Yeah. He and I are a bit of an item. And we had a lover's quarrel. Plus, he's really bad at apologizing. So, I need you to keep him off my tracks while he thinks about what he did wrong. Oh, I'm very aware of how scary he can be. My eye. Yeah, that looks old, but I just got it because of him. Glamorous, right? <laughs> No, I eat like every other vampire does, which is what makes this a standout. Because instead of fixing itself, it's scarred. And if they can do that to me, then I would hate to see what else he can do. That look on your face tells me that you know something about that. So, I take it that you get where I'm coming from in wanting to avoid him for a bit. Then lie like your life depends on it. Because, I mean, it literally does. Well, you see, if you lie to Darren and get caught, then you're definitely going to die. I was a mess before all of this, and that's when he was feeling pretty tired, so I don't think you'll get the same treatment. That's a great question. What would happen if you don't lie to them. Well, simple. I'll kill you. See, you'd normally be right, because vampires can't technically die. We either heal, or turn to ash and then come back. Well, what if I told you I knew how to keep you from doing that? permanently. Would you like to find out how it works? <laughs> oh my god! Look on your face! Priceless. Oh god. You're funny. I might keep you around actually. Yeah, totally. Uh, provided you do what I say. So, are you? Are you gonna be good and do what I say? Great, love to hear it, baby. I can be very charismatic. No need to trans anyone when I can just talk to them. Yeah, it's really helpful. Oh, it works on most people, but not Darren. He's got a weird immunity to anyone being nice to them. Kinda cuts through conversations and gets right into the thick of it, which makes talking to him a pain in the ass. Nah, uh, uh, you don't get to know what our fight was about. That's a private affair. What you can know is that I have big plans, and if you stick around long enough, baby, then you can be a part of them. 
well, have you thought about how fucking weird it is that for beings who are stronger than most humans, are immortal, and practically are unkillable to most folks, we are not at the top of the hierarchy. More like, on the bottom. Right. I think that's weird too. And frankly, we deserve better. I mean, there have been smear campaigns and a whole genocide against us. So I think it's about time we actually gave people a taste of their own medicine. Well, baby, I plan to start a revolution. And to do that, we're going to need a lot more vampires. I know we just met, but... How do you feel about starting a family together? Hey, look, I get it. This is a big step for us. But we've been seeing each other for a bit, and I think I'm ready to take that next step with you. <laughs> it's simple, babe. We start turning people, mainly the people of this town make them vampires just like us, and start our legion of the undead here. Me and you, we can be monarchs. You just have to say yes. Listen, I see you. You've been here, alone. No other vampires to be around. No one who gets what it's like. I mean, sure, you have what's his face, but he's a wraith. He's like half of what we are. He's a nice comfort. But I can be more than what he is to you. Much, much more. I don't know. How would you feel about having a taste of what that's like? And get back to me on it later? I'll let you think about it. Just do what I told you, and we can discuss it later. Bye-bye, baby. Oh, uh, BTW. You might want to wash off thoroughly. Like, real thorough. Darren smells me on you, and he's going to fucking eviscerate you. Okay? Got that? Toodles!